Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Lonnie, hit me. Oh, you know, that happens quite often, doesn't it, Brad? You jam a finger because, you know, Lonnie burned that passenger yeah. like a real quarterback, don't you? <laughs> so, um, I like that, except for the ball biking. Yeah, I, I know you like that. <laughs> um, a lot of times it happens in basketball. I used to do it in basketball. All the sure. time. You jam a finger. And uh, we're going to tell you how to treat this day. We're going to tell you how to treat it immediately, and we're also going to show you what to do in case it doesn't get better in mm -hmm. like three to five days. That, sure. That's going to be more of an advanced technique. But sure. I think you guys can do it. You're smart out there. Oh, yeah. They're so, very good. All right, first thing, you jam your finger. You want to take a look at it. If there's a lot of bruising immediately, that's, that's kind of a bad sign. That might mean you tore something or broke something. Um, and especially if you can't move it at all, then you're going to need to go ahead and see the doctor right sure. away. Sure. Generally, it's the, this bigger joint right here, isn't it? Not the biggest joint, but the, the second joint right sure. here is the one that a lot of people jam. But so, regardless, even if you think you need to go to the doctor, you're still going to put it on ice. Yeah, exactly. That's the first thing you're going to do is you're going to ice it no matter what. And you want to be a little careful if you're putting ice right on it because you don't want to get any frostbite. I sure. mean, um, it, you can. You, you know, the ice packs usually are fine because that, that's right. not as bad. You could but, take a bowl of water with ice in water well, and, yep. and submerse it. And I'd say a good, you know, 15 minutes. Right. You can go up to 20 minutes. Right. But, uh, um, and, and then you can take a break, and then another hour later you can do it again. But don't drink the water either. Yeah. That's right, Brad. I would. That's good advice. So after you ice it, um, and now at this point what you're going to do is probably want to make sure that it's, it's going to be protected. Sure. So what, what you can do is... I hate to say it, this is the only one I found. This is a used popsicle stick. Hey, when you're at home and you need something, it's going to be okay. Um, I think they also call them craft sticks. Sure. Um, I don't know what else you could use, but you could anything that you could use to splint it. So this, if this is the finger, I'd go ahead and just put it right on there, and that'll. And then you can just take some medical tape and wrap it around it. Or the other thing, which a lot of people do, even if they don't have a, a board like this, they might buddy splint it to another finger, go around like that. Right. Now you're gonna really want to make sure you don't wrap it too tight, mm -hmm. uh, just enough to be comfortable because uh, if it does swell, it's gonna make it very uncomfortable and you're gonna get numbness and tingling and right. You want to maintain circulation, right? But you know, if you're out picnicking, which is where you're doing a lot of these activities, this may be what you're gonna find. Right. Bob. You know, exactly. You can find what you can make it work right. to splint it up and make it protected. So you're gonna you're gonna protect it, um, and then in you know for the next. Three to five days, you do the, the, the rice, uh, you know, or the price, uh, protection, rest, uh, ice, ice. Com uh, compression, which you've done with the taping, and elevation. Sure. So you can kind of want to keep it above your heart if you can as, as much as possible. Right. So you want the fluid to, to gather in there. After the three to five days, you, you know, you, you, and you may have to rewrap it every, every day, obviously, because mm -hmm. you're going to want to ice and such. But after the three to five days, you want to take a look at it. And you want to start moving it. Mm -hmm. And if it's still really, really sore, at that point you might need, need to see the doctor. And if, if he clears it, or if it's not that sore but still just a little sore, this is the thing that you might try. This is kind of an advanced move, maneuver, but I think you guys are capable of this. What you're doing, we're going to take Napoleon's hand here, is you're going to be holding on to one part of the finger here, right? Um, I don't know if you consider that above the joint or below the joint. It's going to be this. So he's talking about this knuckle. Yeah. Right there. And we're going to hold. You flip your hand more like your. There you go, Brad. Like that. So you're going to. We're working on this here. knuckle. So I'm I'm going to grab right here or right here and then right on the other side of it. So we're on each side of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move this little bone here that direction or this direction. One of them's going to feel better. One of them is going to hurt, and one of them is going to feel better. If it doesn't feel better either direction, you can't do it. Right. So uh, let's say I move it this way. Ah, oh, that hurts. I move it this way. Ah, oh, no pain. It doesn't feel bad. All right? Then you can go ahead and have the person bend it. So let's do it again. Here's, the, here's Brad's finger. This is the problem joint. I'm grasping pretty firmly here on one side of the joint. I grasp firmly here. I'm moving it this way. Does that hurt, Brad? Yes. Okay, I, I'm, now I'm going this way. Does that hurt, that's, Brad? That's better. That feels okay. better. So now that I'm in this direction, he's going to take his other hand, and he's going to bend the joint while I'm doing that. 
I'm the whole time, I'm bending it. I mean, I'm pushing the whole time. All right. He's maintained that. I maintain that pressure. pressure. This really works well if you're not getting full bend at the joint. This will help you get full bend at the joint. And again, this should all be painless. If this hurts, you can't do it. I reemphasize, if this hurts, you can't do it. Right. So you, you try that, and, and a lot of times, miracle of miracles, it just seems like it helps put the joint kind of back in place, mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, you're functioning, you're back to functioning quicker again, and getting right. back to sports quicker. Mm -hmm. So, and then after that, you know, you want to start off, you can just do some general grip strengthening or stuff like that, but, but uh, that should do it, Brad. Right, okay. So, all right, again, we don't expect anybody to live in pain unless you live in pain, Minnesota, right, Brad? Yeah, exactly. That's our line today. That's right, you betcha. So, all right, <laughs> take care.